Hi and welcome to 3 Minute Maths and this is part of the playlist on simplifying or looking at surds. And this particular question, it's all about surd, but it's all about something called rationalising rationalizing the... And I hope you can read this okay, but rationalising the denominator. Okay, which is a very uh, denominator, which is a very sort of long-winded way of saying making sure that the denominator of the fraction that you're going to be given is going to be a whole number. Okay, so a typical question will be something like this where I've got 5 divided by 3 root 2. And what it will ask you to do is to rationalise the denominator. Okay, well the thing to remember with this is that if you've got two roots that you multiply together, providing they're the same root, then you get a whole number. So what we've got here is at the bottom I've got root 2 and I need to get rid of that because I need to rationalise. So if I multiply the bottom by root 2, I've also got to multiply the top by root 2. It's exactly the same as dealing with any other fraction. So what I've got at the bottom now is I've got 3 root 2 times root 2. Well root 2 times root 2 is 2. It's a whole number. So actually at the top I've got 5 multiplied by root 2 and at the bottom I've got 3 times 2. Well 3 times 2 is 6. Pretty much that's it as far as rationalising the denominator is concerned. So let's just give you one more example of this where again I'm going to have a very similar sort of question and it says 18 over root 3 and what we need to do is rationalise that denominator. Well again I'm going to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by the same number in order to get rid of this square root. So I'm going to multiply it by the square root of 3. So what I've got at the top now is going to be 18 root 3, which is this bit here, and then root 3 times root 3, well that's going to be 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so uh, 3 times 3 is 3, or root 3 times root 3 is 3. So the other thing I can do now is just simplify that a little bit further and I can divide the top and bottom by the whole number 3, so what I've got now is 3 divided by 3 makes just 1 on its own, and the top divided by 3, I've got 18 divided by 3 is 6, so the answer to this question will be 6 root 3 over 1, or 6 root 3 on its own. So sometimes you can take it just a little bit further by dividing the top and bottom by a whole number as well. I hope that's been okay. That's three minutes on rationalising the denominator. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.